Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm kicking off a brand new series on the channel where I am going to be hitting up Race Room for the first time ever. Now I've been meaning to get this sim for a while now, however the major sort of deterrent for me to not actually getting it and installing it is the sheer lack of content that I've been interested in in the past. However, I've sort of got back into the whole world touring car scene over the last sort of year or so. For a while there it got kind of boring when they came out with a new sort of car of tomorrow I guess you could say, um, but in the last couple of years where they've come out with this TCR sort of spec category it's been so much more entertaining so I'm going to be doing a six round championship here on race room we're going to begin today at the Hungaro ring unfortunately uh, race room doesn't have all of the tracks from the well what was supposed to be the 2020 season um, however it does have six it has the Hungaro ring the Slovakia ring or Slovakia I can't remember what it's called uh, the Nürburgring Nordschleifer sort of 24 layout uh, it has the Macau Grand Prix circuit the Sepang circuit and and it also has Ningbo, which is one of the Chinese tracks. I'm going to set up the championship here on Race Room here in a sec, but first I'm going to choose which car I'm going to be driving for the full 2020 season. And to do that, I've got the Wheel of Names. So here are all the cars that you can drive in the WTCR 2019 mod on a Race Room Experience. And I put them all on a wheel here that I'm going to spin, and whichever one it lands on is the one I'm going to be driving for this season. So what are we going to get? The Cupra. All right, so here is the car. I think we've got Aurelian Panis is one of them. Hag Hagloff, Tom Coronel, and As As Kona. Definitely going to go for the 37. I do like that color of, oh, would, you, would you call that gray, silver, gray? I have all the tracks set up here. We've got all the rounds one through to six. Uh, we've got uh, AI difficulty set to the max. Uh, AI opponents, 31 cars. Time of day, afternoon, time multiplier times two, damage full, tire wear and fuel wear times two. Uh, practice, 37 minutes. Uh, what else we got? Rule, just custom rules, single session qualifying, uh, reverse grid for race uh, two, standing start. Everything else is just, yeah, pretty much I've just left it as it is. Alrighty, here we go. Let's just go run a quick practice session and qualifying session and get into the first race. Alrighty, so have qualified dead last. Uh, I'm not going to lie, today is a load of first for me. It's the first time driving a front will drive sim racing car first time driving on race room first time driving a touring car like this in a long long time i think last time i drove any sort of wtcr or wtcc car as it used to be called was back in the old race 07 days so yeah it's going to take me a while to get used to it but the good thing is i don't think we're too far off the pace in terms of our race pace but uh yeah i'm not quite sure what the ai is like on uh race room yet so i guess we'll find out in this race so this is the 2019 TCR Championship mod. As you can see, we've got all the drivers from the 2019 season. But anyway, that is enough talk. Time to get this race underway. Now, this is my first time also doing a standing start uh, in a front-wheel drive race car, so I have no idea what to expect. But we'll deal with it as it comes. Alrighty, WTCR 2019 on race room. First race on this platform. Wait for lights to go out. Oh, bit of spin and we're off and that is a lot of cars ahead of us just nip to the inside get a run into turn one oh okay we're up on the grass <laughs> touring car racing Woo! On the outside of this long left-hander. This track is absolutely boring to race on in an F1 car. Oh, jeez, thought we were going to have an issue there, but managed to avoid the back of him. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to pass. Make one pass and then just get past the very next corner. Oh, understeer, Jesus. Come on. Fairly average start. I was hoping for a little bit more success than what we've had. But yeah, we haven't got long time to get a wriggle on.
Brake on the black stuff, just go all the way down the outside. Uh, how are they so quick? Biggest struggle has been this final sector, I just cannot get off that last corner at all. Under is like a pig. And we have a right old ding dong here for last place. <laughs> in this car compared to what there was in, in practice. It's interesting. Ah, uh -huh. 25th out of 27 days, we are a long way behind. Two and one. Let me some of that. I just can't get the power down. These last two corners where you're really sort of accelerating whilst still turning, it just doesn't want to cooperate. So much time out of that last sector. Anyway, we're up to 23rd, so we gained some spots. Still 10 minutes to go. We're gonna stop. As you can tell, I've uh, <laughs> got the penalties turned off because they are a little bit stringent in this game, I find. Queenie. <laughs> I ain't getting any love from him. Oh, big move. Doors. Elbows out. You. Oh, I love touring car racing. Alright, it's another spot. Just elbowing our way through the field right here. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, that last corner is going to be the death of me. Come on, let's go. Oh, it feels so much different than what it was in practice. I don't know why. Under steering so much more. It's way too deep. Come on, Joseph. Put your head in the game. Nine! A 
Gusto Farfus. And some of these guys have been around for yonks. I mean, how many years of racing is between Tarquini and, and Farfus? Honest to God. Send it. Stop making so many stupid mistakes. Alright, head down, let's go. Seven minutes, so halfway through. Made some positions up, not as many as I'd like, but pretty passive on the first lap. Tried it. <laughs> Didn't quite get enough up up alongside him. Yeah, just can't get off there. Yeah, right, five minutes to go. Get a couple more. Oh, stay on the track. Oh shit, no no no! Oh my god, we're just running into everyone. Front grip, <laughs> grip left. I've used up all of these tyres. All right, I think this is going to be the last lap. Don't know how far away from the leader we are, but it's just so bad through that last sector. It means I can't really get any passes done into turn one. Anyway, 22nd place finish. Yeah, not the uh, the best run, but we uh, we gained a couple spots. Okay, so I've been a total idiot. I thought that they uh, reversed the entire grid for race number two on race room, but they actually only uh, reversed the top eight, which uh, sort of makes sense, I guess. So we're starting out of, I think, well, it was 22nd or wherever we finished. So, yeah, we are still down the back, unfortunately. <laughs> I thought I was going to get lucky and stuff up towards the front. But, yeah, anyway, let's just hope to try and get a, a better start than what we did in race number one. Here we go, race two at the Hungara Ring on race room WTCR with that light uh, a little bit too much wheel spin it's alright it's not a bad getaway let's try and guess the braking point going to turn one there's so many cars Uh, 
Ah, shit. Curb. No, go away. Oh. Couple there. Trying to get through the field without using as much front tire as what I did in the last race. Uh, pinch him up on the curb. Ah, uh, didn't work. Last corner, it's really killing me, man. Alright, well, it stayed where we started, so not too bad, I guess. Could be worse. Holy shit. Alright, I don't know how, but I managed to pull it out. Ah, not in the racing groove. Queenie, so I'm allowed to do it. <laughs> to maximize this second sector, it's the only place where we got any speed. got to be elbows out on the exit <laughs> when you make a pass. Alright, well, gained two spots on that lap, so it was a little bit better. Only got ten minutes left though. God, ten. The time just flies in this in these races.
to 19th. Let's go. I'm finding um, you can't drive the car too hard, but at the same time, as you got to really sort of wheel it, get as far forward as you can because I think I'm overdriving the tyre at times and it's just costing me overall lap time. But then you're racing so hard with everyone, it's sort of hard not to. Two and one. Almost. <laughs> nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No, the AI are pretty cool though in this game, I must admit. For a first race, they are pretty realistic. The way they sort of move and dart about in the braking zones to try and cover you off. Oh, I have that spot if you're going to leave me that gap. Ah, come on. Using up this front tyre too much again. If this was real life, well, I think we would have had about 20 <laughs> seconds worth of uh, excessive track use or track limits penalties. Yeah, what we need is these guys to fight in front of us. Give us a chance to catch up. Come on, Joseph, stay on the track. Love the way you can monster the curbs in these cars. <laughs> they just eat them all up. I mean, they are pretty flat around here, to be honest, but still. Oh, yellow. So, gradually moving forward. Gradually, being the key word. Alright, what are we up to? Five minutes left. Well, that's gone really quick. Left front's gone into yellow again, so we're going to struggle to have pace towards the end here, but used up so much of the tyre to get through the field. That's too deep, come on. <laughs> Just lean on everything now. Come on, Joseph. Sort it out. Any sort of complaint with the AI would be the fact that they are so much slower than me in this sort of sector here, but then they're so much quicker through the last sector. It's kind of annoying when you play racing games that do that. I mean, they keep missing the apex by about three miles through that middle sector and then seem to be fine through here. Yellow. Oh, jeez, I was going to hit the pit entry wall there. That would have been <laughs> messy. All right, this battle is for 16th. Don't really say it like that. It's horrible. Three minutes left. Right, last couple of good laps. 
Jesus, man, this guy in front of us. Ridiculously slow. Pissing me off. Go away. We've got shit to do, places to be. be the last lap here. Let's see if we can get this Attila Tashi. I think he's I think he's actually a Hungarian that guy. Big dive bomb. <laughs> Another big dive bomb. Doors out. <laughs> alright well alright well we unfortunately uh, yeah didn't get as far up the field as what I would have liked but some good fun racing nonetheless from 29th set 22nd in the first race 22nd to 17th in the uh, second race so we made progress just unfortunately not enough to get us some points Okay, so that is round one in the books. No points, unfortunately. But however, we are moving on to the next round, uh, which is Germany in a couple weeks' time. Uh, well, uh, the Nürburgring. So that will be round number two. Hopefully, we can go a little bit better there. I'm quite good at the Nordschleife. Well, well I am on other sim racing games. I don't know what I'm going to be like on uh, Race Room. But, I mean, Nordschleife is Nordschleife. It doesn't change much. But, yeah, thanks, guys, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the new Race Room content. There's plenty more to come. I'm going to be doing a Nürburgring 24-hour on Race Room which is going to have 100 AI cars, which is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.